she's been so wounded, she doesn't know if she wants to open up her heart again. But he also leads her to the Lord. And that's a lovely part of the story. Mm-hmm. Um, and then in Smoky Mountain Sunrise, which I think was the 88, 1988 story, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, it's a boys camp where my mom works. So mm. she, all the descriptions there are right there near where we lived. And um, so again, the germ of the um, Smoky Mountain Sunrise came from where we lived and her work experience. And, and in those days, you had predominantly female counselors. Well, you can't do that anymore with boys. You know, you've got to have the guy counselors. So we mm. were able to blend mm-hmm. those things in together and uh, the man who owns the camp and the uh, young woman, 31 years old, whose father was a big sports figure. She was also an Olympic hopeful. She's now going to work there. So of course, there's the, there's the little lo- love germ mm-hmm. right there. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, again, there, we just had so much fun with that genre that we were not used to um, and just being able to update it and, and actually forgetting because of our ages, kind of forgetting, oh yeah, um, we don't use Rand McNally's anymore. We don't use pay phones anymore. <laughs> what, was, what was that word or words you, Rand McNally's? Rand McNally's. No, I know, yeah, I'm yeah, very yeah. familiar. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Just right Some next to the, the maps that you yeah. get at the yeah. Shell station. At the Shell station. <laughs> and try to refold those things, right? Yeah, you, <laughs> they the they are not, re, yeah. no, definitely not refoldable. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got to ask this, Lori, and please forgive me if I'm uh, giving too, you know, giving too much away or, or praying too much, but the, the story of... Uh, Somewhere a rainbow, mm-hmm. based on a true story, based on your right. your own life. So, d- the the carpenter shows up. It, it does. No, it does, that's where. No, I that, wish, that's where the, I wish yeah. I had a beach house and a, <laughs> okay. a carpenter showed up. So, showed up. Yes, well, but Rodney, that's but true. but my yeah, well, the question is, yeah. does Rodney show up in the book, or does Rodney come up? Rodney is her current husband, right. by the way. Right. Does Rodney show up at uh, in no. the book at all? No. Um, I don't think she's ever included him in any other, I don't know what that says, but um, she would reach out to him anytime she had a medical um, scene or chapter um, or situation. Uh, she would call him up and say, read this and make sure, or she would say, you know, you tell me how this should happen. He's a, a medic, paramedic. Okay. So, um, and, a, and, a, and is involved in film yes. as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't know if he did like ER yeah, movies or say, something yeah. like that. ER, yeah. he, he's making medical films. Yeah. Or, no. no, he is a, he is actually, that's his profession. That's his okay. Profession. But Rodney yeah. eventually shows up. And so, but not, he is not, not the, yeah. Yeah, he is not embodied in, his, in Jake the Carpenter. That's right. That's right. Yeah, Rodney. I didn't know Rodney then. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Very good. Lori Merritt and Eva Marie Everson joining me today here on the Meeting House on Faith Radio. It is the Summer 2022 Christian Product Expo in Lexington. All right. So as we wrap up this conversation, obviously, Yvonne making a tremendous impact on Christian writing inspiring Christian authors. So as you look at these books, what would you say, and I'll get both of your takes on this, would be the maybe the central faith message in this overall set of books, Romancing the South, realizing these are obviously different stories. Well, they are different stories. And yet what I think makes them so much alike is we see God as the Redeemer in both of these stories. We've got the young girl who goes to work at the camp, who's lost her mother when she was younger, just lost her father, feels completely lost, uh, but comes to this camp and and God really meets her there. And not just in the fact that he brings her someone to love and to love her, but God himself meets her there. And so her faith is renewed and restored. Same thing happens in um, Somewhere a Rainbow. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a young woman who has just been so crushed by life and she needs that reminder. That, that God is God is bigger than that. That God is that, still that's the, Yeah, <laughs> that, back to the back yeah, it just yeah, it pervasive. Story. Yeah, it's right, pervasive. Right, right. It yeah. is. Yeah, it so, just kind of gets yeah, into consciousness gets, there. Yeah, it does. But but that that <laughs> God does love her, and that God is going to take care of her, and that that love is not forsaken. Mm. Um, that that He has overcome all the hardships in the world. And so her faith is restored, even as her little boy's faith is is birthed, because he doesn't really have a faith when the story first opens. So we get to see faith through the eyes of a child, and then faith through the eyes of a woman who was wounded, and now that love is being restored.